we're back again, ready to do another amazing rendition of How to Paint the Minotaur of the Maze. Oh, it's going to be amazing. And uh, I think the first thing we should do is really explore uh, what we're going to do next. Yeah, Because you know, this is a process. And uh, we do have to uh, take the process seriously. <laughs> so, with no further ado, let's look at our maze and uh, really explore our next step. So, we've got the feet, not the beat, but the feet. So, and we've got most of the horns done. We're mostly done with our horns, aren't we? Yeah, we just got one more ring on each one. What color will they be? Well, it's the same color. It's the same color we're going to paint. We're gonna do a dry brush, I guess, on the belts, a highlight with the same color that we're about to paint that last ring. And what color is that? We're gonna go with this. And then we're gonna highlight it with silver hue. Uh, this is actually a high pigment paint from our friends at Dollar Rowney. Um, so yeah, high pigment, so this should really cover up any problems we might run into. Now, you probably have a better silver. And I I welcome you to use it. I didn't want to paint everything plate mail, even though that would probably look cooler. Because the whole point of this exercise is to create variance. And without variance, well, ha! We may as well just painted all the metals the same color, right? Kind of defeats the whole purpose. Now, I'm not going to blow smoke up your paint like these. Uh, these paints are rubbish. Rubbish. But, it's going to get the job done for what we need. For now. So what we're doing here, we got the silver hue. We're just gonna do some highlights, okay? Just a couple little highlights. We're gonna add a little, think of it like a non-metal metal on metal. So just a little here, a little there, mostly on top, just to create the illusion. And we could do the same over here on this axe, all right? We could just, just do a little here, a little there. Give it a little pop. I don't want to go too crazy, just a little bit there. Maybe up here, we do. oh, did you see it? Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little silver hue to give it that little something special. Yeah, make it pop, make it pop, make it pop, make it pop. But we're only doing that on that plate mail color, if you remember. Now we're gonna do we're gonna touch up big red a little bit. We're gonna do some of the same kind of stuff with big red here. We're gonna give them a little color, just a little low. Uh, just on the high points, just a little bit of little bit of shading. Yeah. Nothing big, nothing. Doesn't have to be rocket science. You are not doing rocket science here, guys. This, we're just going to do the same thing here. We're going to, like this, this seems a little 
like it needs some love to me, like it needs a little something. Just a little something to give it a little pop. Don't touch the wet paint though. Not a good idea, guys. Also, don't mix metallics. You know, you're using your water. Don't use the same water from metallics that you did non-metallics. Yeah, that can get you a little bit of a glittery effect that you don't want. Especially if you're doing something really precision, like eyes or something. You wouldn't want glittery eyes. I mean, I guess it, it could be cool. As it turns out, we have some work to do yet on these minis. Now, we have to, we have to go ahead and as I said, we're gonna, oh yeah, get that other, that other uh, ring on the other Minotaur's uh, horn. That's what it was. I knew I was up to something. Sometimes, guys, I just get lost. I get lost in space. You know, just just in the craziness. Ah, uh, there we go. There's our there's our horn. So we're gonna make sure we're good and clean. Gonna get on there and we're gonna just like I said, little love. Uh, just a little touch of love. Give it that illusion. Okay, now, now that we've got that out of the way, as I promised, we're going to do a little dry brush. Just a quick one on the belts. So both belts are going to have, we're using the silver hue. How are you? All right. We're going to put it on our, br our brush, and then we're going to, like that, just a dry brush on the belt. That's going to make that face on there kind of pop, pop out a little bit. See that? Yeah, just a little pop. Now remember, when you're dry brushing, you don't want any wet paint. Just, you just want the heights, right? The high points to receive. And you don't want to be putting metal bits on your skin tones, right? We're gonna do the same thing here on this one. See that? I'm just gonna, yeah. We really want that face to pop out there. And we're just, yeah. We're not trying to change the color. We're just trying to hit the high points and really sell the high points. That's all. That's all. Yeah, an old brush will do it, but you could get a special dry brush brush. They sell them. Yeah. There you go, so that face, there it is, yeah, and then we might hit that with a, a wash to try to bring out some more detail. So on these washes, depending on what wash you use, it's going to determine what color you end up with, right? Um, now typically on these uh, little things like um, you want to be real sparing on your washes and you want to be careful about which ones you use because they can actually change the color of the paint. So if you like a nice, brilliant, bright, radiant metal, you don't want to use too much or any wash in the center. You might concentrate on the edges with it or something. You might get a little fancier, that's all. But for the belt that's not really showing, this guy, I'm going to grab a blue tone to kind of match the blue on the, watch this, we're gonna match the blue on his 
That's a little too matchy, isn't it? Now the beautiful thing about this is if you make a mistake, if you hit it fast enough with a wet brush, off it goes. So I just put a little too much blue. This leaves me a little bit of blue. So we're gonna be extra careful with the brown too. We're gonna go with a mid brown. So, here we go. Just trying to make it pop a little bit. So I aim for the recesses. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Again, less is more with this. Less is more, you're just trying to make it pop. Now, we're gonna do the horns. Okay, Ooh, where are you? Oh, blue tone. Okay. The toning is more of an ink. So here I'm aiming for the edges where the where the metallic meets the horn. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. Well, sometimes, guys, it don't matter what brush you use. You can make it work <laughs> if you care. You know. <laughs> Does that make it ideal? No. Does it work? Yes. All right. Same thing there. All right. And here. Right. There we go, guys. There we go. So, that was a pretty boring video, wasn't it? <laughs> We're sitting here talking about horns the whole time. Huh? That's okay. That's okay. Well, yeah, we definitely hit the mark. So, there's our next video, guys. Um, I hope you find all the miniatures in your dreams while you're awake. I'm going to go ahead and hit the... the shoes with this brown a little bit same same sort of thing we're just we're just trying to hit the edges okay and uh yeah have an amazing day uh find those miniatures and uh we'll see you in the next one